check this out guys look at that everything broken you gotta love it lovely look at that all broken needs to be replaced as up Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna be working on this Del Sol 95 to be exact and we're gonna be replacing the disc brakes and the pads front and rear. That's right. So stay tuned guys. It's my baby right there. First things first, use a floor jack to lift out the car, and then put some jack stands on. Safety first guys, and be careful where you lift the car because you might destroy the, the floor of the car if you don't lift it correctly, so be aware of that. With a 19 millimeter, socket we're gonna go ahead and remove those lug nuts right there and there we go look at that nasty thing right there okay so with a 12 millimeter open wrench with the gear on the other side this gear ratchet technology we're gonna go ahead and take the 12 it is right here so you go this way lefty and remove it so we can get the pads out you see the condition of them it's a long one I haven't worked on this in a while, so bear with me for a minute as I relearn the Honda's ways again. There we go. So that's it. Now we can just go ahead and remove this. It's actually not so bad. But we're gonna regrease it again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out completely the way, out of the way. Like that, I just leave it right there for now. And so let's check out the pads. Yeah, crunchy. Crunchy and stuck. We're gonna replace them anyways because they're all special with this. The water or this brake. Absolutely garbage. Garbage. Alright, look at this one. Okay, yeah, so we have to grease it because every time you get a pad looking like this one, for Let's use the tools, that's what we have it for, right guys? Every time you get a pad that looks like this and the one that looks like that, it's because you gotta grease. This guy especially is bone dry. You gotta grease it so both sides can move freely. Can move like, like that. That's the friction that they do when you're braking. So if this is, this has grease and this guy also is with the amount of grease necessary they're gonna these pads are gonna wear out evenly okay so take of the note of that guys for future references 
Okay, so I'm gonna be using this uh, bungee cord to hold the caliper. So the line, the brake line is free and it's not, doesn't have any tension in. And now we're gonna be working to remove this bracket right here. So that one, this one right here, I believe there are 14s. We'll see in a minute. So we can start working on the rotor or this brake. Yep, I was wrong, it's 17. 17 open ratchet. Set it right there. The other side of course. Lefty Lucy. Come on. You should know by now. <laughs> okay. So 17. Lefty Lucy. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing with that one right there. So in order to remove the disc brake, we need to remove this one right here. Oh, the guys will know about this. There's supposed to be another one in there, but it's missing. So we're just gonna worry about this one right here. And I have a special trick for that. All right, so using this right here, we're gonna be able to remove it. This one kinda like, bounces when you use a hammer so watch this no nothing it's this guy and this guy well depends if it's like freaking rust then you might need a torch and wd-40 and all that but in my case it wasn't rusted it's good so it came out really simple with this guy and the help of num num or you can use any other num num all right, so time for the truth. The truth is that this guy's not gonna come up. That's the truth. <laughs> okay, apparently this one's work good. That side right there, if you guys wanna go and get it, you, you go and purchase it. And so you fit it on that, on this holes right here. There's another one just like it, right here. You put one in there, and then you start tightening it. And it comes out just like that. That's how that. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even have to do much force, and it, it came out just like that. So now you know, go ahead and this, put it in, and start tightening it, and it comes out. And if it doesn't come out just by using one, put two, and it will come out. But in my case, just put one was enough. Okay, so now you guys know this, and I put the part number again. Right there. So you can find this on Amazon or O'Reilly. So go ahead and purchase yours, okay? A lot of people say that I have an accent, but now I have a strong accent for you guys. <laughs> All right, and after that, you simply take it out, just like that. All one out. Bring the new one in. And you got it. Make sure that all this is good. Looking good. Yeah, good. 
this is looking good, yeah, yeah. That's not looking so good. That's ugly. Very ugly. And we'll, we'll take care of that later. Yeah. We're gonna be doing this. So get your new part out and then install it just like this. Have you guys heard people that talk like that? Like, like they're always tired and stuff? Okay, just put it like that. And then we gotta find this guy right here and then bolt it in. Put it with your hand first, take it in. Just like so. And then we're gonna use the same tool and bolt it all the way in. Just like this. Just like that, you don't have to go crazy on this. It would be nice if we had the other one, but we're missing it, so yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything in the kit either. So now let's go ahead and replace this guys right here with this ones that come with the kit. just like that so we're gonna do all for all of them this ones right here are different so we're just gonna go ahead and place them like so just like that and then we're gonna do that for the other side too so this are right here Okay, so now we're gonna grease this section right here after we clean it up a little bit with the rack. Give it a nice clean. And then this here with a special grease. Now we're gonna be installing the bracket and placing the 17 millimeter bolts to hold the, the bracket in place. All right, we're putting everything back now. Don't forget to grease this guy also. Put in the cali caliber pads. Okay, so now I usually just grease this side right here. Let's put a little bit more. Like right there and right here. Because this is supposed to be so you don't put grease in here anymore. This uh, metal plate. So, and I guess we put the the top part first and then the bottom part like that that's how you install the the pads just like so same thing with the other side there you go we got both sides in there Let's get the caliber out of here, out of the bungee core. Okay. Put this side on. Top on first. Okay. Let's just leave it like that for a minute. This is how I get this piston down. So I use one of the oil pads, put it in here, 
and I use this tool right here. Place it in there and then start adjusting it. So it's pressing between the caliper and the pad and then you start twisting it and so you can't you can't twist it anymore. Like that. Now you take it out. Take this out. As you guys can see, the piston is all the way down. So now we can just put it down and it goes right in. No issues. Just like that. Alright, so after you fully grease it, go ahead and Install it back on. It has some thread, so fit it in, the grease on. Alright, so now let's go ahead and tight it. Tight it back up. Right there is good. And don't forget to tie the, the 17 ones. Back here, if we get back, so we're gonna go ahead and tear those. Too crazy than ever. Make sure that it's so fully tight. Same thing with the one in the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, and we have this section done. It's looking good. Make sure that everything is fully tied. And now let's move out to the rear. All right, so moving to the rear side, we already got the tire out. So let's get to it. So let's start by removing these two right here, which are 12. This one right here. And this one right here. 12 millimeter. So let's get, let's get that out. I think I see an issue with this shield right here. So I might end up removing it. Looks like it's all by a 10 millimeter in here and a 10 millimeter somewhere. 10 millimeter. Now that the shield is out, let's try those two. That one, and the one in the bottom, right there. Right where my finger is. Four things. Let's take those out. Alright, four things out. And it looks like it has a washer that just 
fell off and burned away. Poor thing with the washer. Try the one on the bottom now. The washer that is fell off and now it's running away. This right here I have seen on the NSX uh, caliper brakes. So, that's kind of cool. That right there. Nizin, I think it says. Something like that. Nizin! Right now. Let's try to get this out. One piece, hopefully. There we go. With the help of a flathead screwdriver, it comes out just like that. The whole thing. Out. Everything falls out. Yes. All right. Let's put it on the side. And this is what we get for the brakes. I'm pretty worn out. They both look the same, so but they're worn out. So time to replace them. All right, so back here, we got the same deal. This two right here. This and this. So, I'm gonna use the same technique and back in the other one. We're gonna punch them out. Let me move you guys a little bit. So I can have some leverage. Okay, so if we try to take it out by hand, it's not gonna do anything, so that's what it took. Just a few hits of num num, and it came off. Not gonna do it because it already came off. So, yep. There we go. Out. And gone. Forever. We got this. It's actually in really good shape. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and install the new rotor. We're gonna make sure that we align in this. This guy's right here with this holes right here. that make sure you do that so you can install this flathead ones back okay like that and with the help of Num Num we're gonna go ahead and give it the final touch which is actually look fairly new looks like someone replaced it at some point but they kind of look nice don't you guys think Look how shiny they are. Goes good with it. Oh yeah. Okay, and don't forget to replace these guys right here. With the new ones provided on the kit. Then you just press it in. Just like the one you took it out. Let's put it back on. Like so, press it in. It's not gonna fully 
sit flush now, but it will eventually. It will look something like that. Wash it in. And place it back on and start tightening it. Fourteen millimeter. Get it all the way tight up. So now let's go ahead and remove these guys. This one is pretty stuck. Like that. Remove this, clean it, and grease it up. Same thing with the, the one in the bottom. So the caliper, like I explained it before, it can move freely like this. So the pads were, are gonna wear even. So to retrieve this caliper right here, what I usually use is this i've been using this for a very long time but you can buy a kit it comes with a different fittings for this right here but i'll just go with this it's got to match the this it has a different one so you just gotta match it with the one right here and i think i got it I think I got it, uh, got it already matched, matched up. All right, after you got that caliper all the way down, it's time to put some grease on top of this for bulk sizes, like that, and install it. So just add a little bit of grease, like that, and like that. And then place it always like this. You see how it goes with the disc? That's how it's gonna go. Not like this, not like that, never. Always like this. Go with the same way that the disc is going this like that right so let's go ahead and place it this are gonna be fairly easy easier than the ones in the front Gonna do the same thing for this one. Grease it and place it. Same way as the disc is the disc is going. Place it just like so. Like that. There you go. We're putting everything back. Don't forget to add this guy. So basically, it goes out like that. Then you go ahead and place it on. Now let's put this, this guy's back on. You can put some, uh, lock nut if you wish to do so a lot of tries messing with it and then over and over i realized that you need to have the spins that we took out to grease them the flat part needs to be on top 
and then the flat part on the bottom just like that see that flat part right there needs to be like that same for the bottom side the flat part right there like that line them up and you can screw the the ball back in that's the trick that's the trick for this for the rear ones and i bet it's the same for civics all right so now let's both it up Usually I just go like this and then another one and that's good it's not gonna come off so we're good there before we put the shield back on make sure that the 14s are all the way tied up and the 12s also but mostly the 14s because the shield is gonna be on your way if you try to tight it up later let's go ahead and place the shield in this position got the 10 millimeters and place them on one at a time close the other one Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all done. Make sure everything is tied and repeat the same process for the other side. Um, tidying and loosening might be different. Just figure it out, but it's gonna be basically the same thing. And also for the front side, it's basically gonna be the same thing, just the opposite. You might have to tie it like this now or loose it like this but it's gonna be basically the same procedure to remove all this. This can also probably apply for Civics, uh, 92 to 95, even all the way to 2000, probably, but it's not so hard. As soon as you get the, the handle of it, it's not so hard. Guys, and this is how I'm gonna be concluding the video. Um, there's gonna be more videos of the, the Honda Del Sol in the channel. We're gonna be working on this car for a little bit. And so stay tuned for that. Thank you all of you who have subscribed and the new subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give it a like, share with anyone that you think this information might be helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.